vertebrae, just kneecap. Exhale, left leg forward into warrior one. Deep lunge. Hold it there. Hold it. Good. Good. Straighten up that back leg. Warrior 2. Ah, yes. Feels so good. To start the day with a vigorous massage is one of the many perks here at my location. Well, good morning out there. Don't act surprised. In a world of speaking robots, interactive software and quantum physics, a talking park bench should not raise an eyebrow. Come on, old man, keep up. Maybe we should slow down so we can catch up. Yeah, come on, old man. What are you talking about? You talking about me? You? You guys go on without me. I'll catch up with you at the coffee shop. What? You meet your girlfriend here every morning? Must be his money. Let's get out of here. Must be. See you there. Tom, good to see you again. I see you didn't kick the habit yet. Ah, oh, how I miss a good cigarette. I know, I know. It's not good for the old geezer. Neither is it good for you. Tom, honestly, it's killing you. When will you say, I had a good time smoking all my life, and now I say so long to cigarettes? <coughs> I can't believe I'm still smoking these cigarettes with my emphysema. <coughs> I have to go to the conference room for a meeting. No, I can't talk to you right now, Kim. Bye. When will you tell Kim? that you have lost your job over two weeks ago. She will understand. Look what a fine sandwich she's made you. She cares. I believe she might feel that something is going on with you already. Hey, what is the prize? I need to tell you something. Aren't you at the meeting? No, I'm not at the meeting. Kim? I have to confess something. That you have lost your job? Honey, I already knew that. Listen, just come home. Not only your problem, we will face it together. We will find a solution. Just come home. Ah, uh, I love you so much, Kim. I'll be on my way home shortly. Hey, pick up some flowers for Kim on the way home. How can I forget those beautiful moments you guys shared here? Your emotions and future? How could you guys forget everything? Let's talk. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you made it here too. Because the last few weeks have really been like... Like hell? Is that what you want to say? Please, don't start anything here. Your assumptions have really taken away from my happiness. I just want you to stop assuming and stop judging me. Here we go. You're, you're going to tell me what I'm supposed to say and do now? Ma Margaret, I'm, I'm not a child. Is that what you think? Then I'm sorry for you. I mean, I am not trying to tell you what to do or, or how you should behave. This is about us respecting each other and finding a way that we can live together happily. Well, if you're not happy, then there's no point in talking. Okay. All right, then. Could you please just tell me why you asked me to come here? Well, that's what I'd like to ask. I mean, Margaret, what is going on? I mean, you, have, you haven't been spending any time with me? And you're working extra shifts? No time for me? Have you ever 
stopped and asked me why. I've asked you. You asked. Yeah. You never ask. Every time I try to talk to you, you always in this bad mood or something. I mean, you really need to check that. Whatever. Look, sometimes circumstances change. I am working all the overtime that the company can afford right now. I mean, I am trying to make some extra money. It's good money, and I'm going to need it when I. When what? I have a semester left. And after that, I have a paid internship lined up. Alfred, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I went to the doctor five weeks ago, and they have confirmed it. I'm having a baby. Our baby, Alfred. So yes, I am working extra hours so that when we have the baby, I can spend more time with the child. And then we'll have extra money for at least a few months. I mean, you said it yourself. Whenever we have children, you wanted one of us to be at home at least until the child started school. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm Margaret. I mean, you know why? I even asked, I, I asked you to meet here at this bench. Of course I do. I mean, we met here for the first time. I can't, I can't think of a better place and a better time than right here on this bench. Would you marry me? Yes, Alfred. I'll marry you. How romantic. I will be a godfather soon. Sometimes silence says everything, but sometimes you do need words too. It's just not happening. I've tried everything. Well, okay, come on, take a load off. Let's sit down. I really don't have time. I should be practicing and coming up with a theme song for prom night. Well, can I hear what you have so far? Now? Yeah, now. Okay. at the right place, music man, but what you got there is crap. Okay, so I've been thinking, the theme for the prom is the whole world is our future, right? Mm -hmm. What if you took music from all the seven continents and played a rock and roll version of all the traditional music? Jennifer, I can't believe you're going through with this. <sighs> Marrying someone you've only met online? I'm afraid you're making a terrible mistake. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. Okay. You know, if your father were alive, he would never allow this. I know you're not a child, but you're acting like one. लगता है आपको और आपका बेटी में कुछ गलत फामी हो गया है। I don't know what I'm gonna do to keep her from ruining her life. I mean, I feel powerless in this internet virtual world. You have kids? Kids? Yeah. बहुत अच्छा मौसम है, है ना? I don't know what you said. <laughs> Do you speak English? Thoda. Thoda, little. Ah. Ah. Well, it's a, it's a beautiful day today, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. In my house, there is no balcony. It's good that the park is in the park. I'm going to go to the park. Are you near here? I live near here, yes. <laughs> I love this park. It always takes away my loneliness. You know, every time. I like the fresh air. <laughs> Do you come here often? They say loneliness is like the common cold for older people. Hmm. I would love to stay here, but... Um, my my daughter, my older daughter is dropping off my grandson and I have to go to the store, so I must go. Mere ko bhi ghar jana hai. Bahu aur bete bhi jaldi aa jayenge ghar. Yes. Well, it's been a pleasure. When you connect, even different culture and languages become no barrier for understanding and sharing of human feelings. Where else would you have talk like this? We all need a guru, a mentor in life, be it a friend, spouse, book, or a bench like me. Well, this concludes a typical day in my life, life of bench. Oh wait, wait, how could I have forgotten about him? Meet Mr. Harry, my friend. Well, it's now my turn to listen. Hi, bench. How are we doing? Dear Bench, a toast to you. My only true friend. Wish I was a bench. Nothing can discourage you. Rain, shine. You're here for me. I can count on you no matter what. I feel stronger when I sit here in the evenings. It's like coming home. Thanks, my friend. So ready. I am ready to hear what the bench has to say. How the people get connected to each other through bench. You know, sometimes the bench, the bench is really rude, but you know what? <laughs> we just let it go. You don't want to pull it apart. We just let it ride. And, uh... But the bench is like a like a soul that sits there and it comes into you and then it, it pulls the best out of you. To set goals at a bench, just planning um, at a bench. I go to a bench all the time at the park and I sit and I meditate entity that belongs to everybody and nobody at the same time.